So I want what I want you to do is to we'll take we're going to take a pediatric bag and uh, we are going to use an adult mask, but we're going to hook it up to oxygen. Now the difference with this bag is that it doesn't have a reservoir. Julie wasn't a believer that you can actually um, breathe through one of these masks if you have a good seal on or that you can use it for uh, pre oxygenation. All right, so just put it up to 15 liters. All right, go, go ahead and put it now. Um, do you want me to get help and, you, and have you lay down and have someone put a seal on, or do you just want to breathe? You want to put, you can, can seal it yourself. Way. Okay. Yeah. So we're down right. up to 15 liters. Uh, my peep is on five. Okay. This is off. Okay. Hey, actually, let's. I want you to bag. Show me the bag. Show me the mask. Mm -hmm. And I want to. I want to demonstrate. Okay. Now let's let's watch. Let me watch the. Is there a valve? There's no valve in there. The valve. The valve is back in the there. The valve is here. Okay. So so the valve is back in in there. So this. That's a. That's more of a conical shaped valve. There. Okay. All right, but you should be able to still breathe through that. All right, so go go ahead and um, put the mask on with a good with a good seal. I'm going to come to your side here a little bit here. You do have peep on there, so it's gonna you're gonna have a little difference, and you got a good seal, right? And you're having no trouble breathing through that. Maybe a little resistance. Okay, but now it really takes a lot of effort to breathe out to exhale. Okay, it's hard. Take off the take off the peep valve then. This is or pretty crank much it. as far as it goes. Five is. I, mean, I can take it off completely. Yeah, that's what I'm. Gonna, yeah, can you just take it off completely? Yeah, so you're breathing easy now. So it was just the peep valve that was causing a little bit more resistance. Right, so you have no no problem. Okay, now you want to crank that up to 50 liters per minute. So the highest that this one went was 15. So that's the highest I can go right here. No, it's not. That's what. That's all it shows. This is it. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I hear that going. Now, are you feeling like in uh, the air flowing at you? Are you? Do you feel any? Do you? I mean, the question is: Is the air kind of like being shooting out the back, or? No, the air is coming out here through the tubing. Um, there's no air. Uh, so coming. that's why the resin. So uh -huh. um, seal off, seal <laughs> off that. Yeah, seal off that for a minute, and let's see. Ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, so you're sealing that off. Yeah, it's really hard to exhale because you have so much flying at you. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you think you would get barrel trauma by if you if you had a child that you were pre oxygenating but you were doing flush rate flow of air? I think that they would air stack because there's it's really hard to exhale against that much oxygen. Okay, so if you but this. let me let me turn it down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, I just turned it down maybe halfway. Okay. So we're probably at about twenty five? Probably maybe who knows. <laughs> yeah, if you there's no valve to let the air out if you include this. Okay. So that it comes in very easily, but there's nowhere for it to go. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, but if I don't include this completely, I feel exhalation coming out here. Okay. So so that that valve. So let's look at the back of this. This pediatric valve does not. So that is your the, yeah. that that tubing is actually your exhalation port right. for for both ventilation as well as overflow of oxygen. Now if I were to occlude it for inhalation, that gives me pressure through here and then let it go for exhalation, that does give a little bit of pressure with inhalation but allows me to exhale because if I completely occlude it, I can't exhale at all. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's useful information because we know that um, 
bags are different. Bag valve masks are different. Not a, they're not all the same. And so we also now know, um, and we're demonstrating what we're also now demonstrating that the pediatric valve uh, has to be managed a little bit differently because it doesn't have the reservoir right. that an adult bag would have. And if you want to give blow by too, um, it seems without having to take this off and just blow it through the tubing, if you completely occlude this then it does give a little bit of blow by, but only if you have it probably Cranked above up. 25. But I, no, I can feel air flowing through. Right. Yeah, yeah. But trying to occlude this is a little bit difficult. Um, it's doable. Yeah. But. If you're good. Yeah. All right, so just give me an, your analysis then, your All final right, analysis. So with the mask on, um, if you're trying to do uh, blow by um, and you crank it up to 25 to 50 liters, um, in order to get blow by, you really have to completely obstruct the end of this. Um, otherwise, all of that excess. Or partially obstructed. Right. Um, but in order to get any flow through the mask, you have to obstruct this as much as you can. Otherwise, all of the excess is just going to come out here. And I think all you're going to get through the mask is 15 liters or so. Um, in order to have ease of exhalation you either need you probably should take off the peep valve completely um, and, and, and also not crank it up so right high. and if you do crank it up do not obstruct this on exhalation because if you obstruct this and it's cranked up high you can't breathe out yeah. you just can't um, so if you obstruct it with inhalation you'll get a little bit of positive flow if you let it go with exhalation they'll able to breathe out so it's so do you think you can pre-oxygenate with this then Probably it's a little bit complicated, I think, um, and you really have to think about it. And, but if, if you are used to it and know what you're doing, I think that it's it's feasible. Yeah, but this is definitely different than the adult bag that has a, has a port specifically for right. expiration you're, you're, and all that, and as well as the as well as the reservoir bag. So so basically, it is a one-way valve, but you actually are able to you can overcome it. You overcome it. Um, but not if this is obstructed because this is where that air is coming out. It's going through the bag and into this. So if you obstruct this, there's nowhere for your exhalation to go. That's so a great point. You have to let it go. Good teaching point.